Reducing classroom size is something we've talked about for centuries in education. Here's an idea that I think could reduce classroom size. This is more applicable at the secondary level, less applicable at the elementary level. If you have some ideas for the elementary level, reach out, I'd love to hear your ideas. But at the secondary level, we've got to recognize that not all subjects are the same. I've taught both English and financial literacy, and I can tell you that it's much harder to teach English than it is financial literacy. The struggle is, a, an English class, you've got 35 students. A financial literacy class, you've got 35 students. It doesn't ma matter the subject matter. In our high schools right now, they're packing the same number of students in every classroom, no matter the subject. At the college level, they've made some economic decisions, and they've looked at it and said, hey, it makes sense for us to have an auditorium full of students for this class because the teacher and the way the class is structured could teach an auditorium full of students. At the high school level, if you filled an auditorium full of 120 students in my financial literacy class, that could help us reduce classroom sizes in an English class. So why aren't we looking at teachers and subject matters that we, we could say teach a larger number of students and reduce classroom size. We could also incentivize teachers by, you know, improving their pay if they were willing to do something like this. And you could share the savings in cost with both the English teacher and the financial literacy teacher. This is more of an idea though to reduce classroom size than it is about teacher pay, but this is one solution to help reduce classroom size.